It's Holy Vibes O'Clock. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Holy Vibes, a show brought to you by women for women. And you know if it caters for women, then it caters for everybody. So let's come and discuss today's hot topic. My name is Tembi Silem Nisi and I'm representing the Rainbow Nation South Africa. I'm not alone in studio today. I'm with Marilyn and as always, she's going to introduce herself. How are you doing, Marilyn? Thank you, Tembi. I'm fine. Akinye kudede woyi, muna geshe kusanunku, nde wonu. This is Marilyn Johnson representing Nigeria. You're once, welcome once again to the show. We're going on a short commercial break. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Welcome back from the break. You're still tuned into your favorite show, Holy Vibes. Please don't forget to talk to us on Facebook at Holy Vibes and YouTube at RTM TV World. Today we are not alone in studio. We have a special guest and her name is Miss Alu. How are you? It's Miss Olajumoke Olukolo. I'm good and you? Um, thank you for that correction. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so glad to be. Uh, I'm so glad to be here today, and mm -hmm. I'm so glad to be your special guest. And it's so honored to work, to work with ladies like you. It's mm -hmm. a really, really good privilege. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Our topic for the day is those to avoid. And we're going to be indulging in it with Miss Olu. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be indulging this topic with her and Marilyn, of course. But don't forget to talk to us as well on, on um, Facebook. Marilyn. Yeah, the topic we're talking about is a very crucial one. I remember we were talking about even the right choice in marriage. Yeah. Just as it makes or mars you, there's a lot that friendship does. And like it is said, friendship, it's a ship taking you somewhere, yeah. either to happen or to be destroyed. Yeah. So there are really people we need to avoid and we need to take cognizance of it, especially women. Because if you notice, women are easily carried away by uh, things around, the kind of people that stay around them. So if you're not conscious, you're bound to be in trouble. You're bound to be carried away and doing things that are not right. You're, women are easily influenced, kind of. Yeah. I'm not saying there are no strong women that can stand their feet. But they're but easily influenced. Exactly, they're easily yeah. influenced because yeah. we, are, we are friend people. We're easily, we're petty. We are too welcoming. We're petty. Yeah. We're, we're too welcoming. I sit with her. If she flings her hair that way, I get conscious Might of it. Might as well. And yeah. it's like, is she telling me off? You know, because we're really very petty. We take notes of things that... Uh, that Pay attention to little details. Little details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the kind of people we relate with matters a lot. Exactly. Yeah. What, what are the kind of people that you, you want to avoid in your life? Mm -hmm. um, there are so many people you need to avoid in your life. Um, and this thing is going to be a personal relationship mm -hmm. okay. with that person. Yeah. Right. Because you might meet a person, to me, is going to bring out a different color. And to you, it's going to bring out a different color. Yes. So you need to observe that person. Mm -hmm. You know the kind of person she is. Then you know if you relate with her. And again, after you've studied the person, if the person is a liar, I'm telling you, you just have to distance yourself from the person. Yeah, I guess. You have to. Because in a situation whereby, because the Bible says you should tell the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. When she is a liar, I'm telling you, there are so many things when you get to a place, you need to tell the truth. And at the end of the day, she, she had to lie to, to probably make her way. Mm. I'm telling you, you won't get to where you're going. Mm. It will surely hinder you when, when you get to a stage. Mm. So like a liar, you need to avoid her. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you're a special guest, we, we're going to be just uh, indulging in, in certain questions for you. Okay. So I want to understand, has, has there ever been a time where you, have, you, you avoided certain people and then you, you, didn't, you, you avoided a certain situation because you avoided those certain individuals? Like an experience. An experience. Maybe a bad experience, a good experience? Mm. or Yeah. Um, at my place of work, yeah. there are certain people there that I just have to avoid them mm. because their lifestyle is not just my kind of lifestyle mm. okay their lifestyle is to party at night i don't party at night okay their lifestyle is to drink i don't drink their lifestyle is to smoke i don't smoke mm. the, their lifestyle is on sunday they'll be in the house sleeping i'll have to be in church so those kind of people they're not my kind of people mm. i have to avoid them so how do you avoid these people without looking like you um, are you think like you're, you're superior down. you're yeah. looking down on other people yeah exactly when you say you're avoiding someone, you don't just cut the person off. Mm. Okay. When you get to work, hi, ah, you my sister, ah, yeah, I was there, I was there. But you don't follow that person to the club. 
Mm. You don't drink with that person. By, by doing that, you are avoiding that person. Mm. You are not avoiding the person herself, but you are avoiding, you are avoiding the, the bad things. The attitude. Okay. The bad the things. Lifestyle. Yeah. Their yeah. lifestyle yeah. is yeah. what you have to avoid. Mm. Okay. And to keep the friendship. And I'm telling you, by, as, as, as time goes on, she might sit down and talk to herself that no. Probably what Something she's doing, it's me. not good. Mm. Let me just follow Jumi's lifestyle and see where it will take her to. Mm. So it's not that um, just because these people are, are not doing things that you agree with, it, mm. it means that you're not talking to them. No. You do talk to them, Definitely. you just don't follow a certain lifestyle that they're doing. Definitely. You don't follow them to a certain place, you don't Definitely. follow them. You just sit with them at the work area and yeah. that's where it ends. That's where it ends. That's so very apart interesting. from that, do they really know your kind of lifestyle, your own beliefs? Because do you, yeah, if do you're you avoiding them, them, if they don't know the reason why, yeah. they're really going to look it, like a beast. Yeah. So, so do, do, do they you usually know? tell them? Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's a good question. They know. They know I'm a Christian. Okay. They know I'm a believer. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when they call me for such things, when I say no, definitely they'll understand. They know I've got my boundaries, I've mm. got my do's and I've got my don'ts. Mm. So that's what keeps the relationship going. I love the fact that you said you are a Christian and you've let it known to yeah. those people at, yeah. at work. Yeah. So what else as Christians or what kind of people do we now have to avoid, even at church? Let's say people are at church. We, 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 we can't say that everyone that is at church is a believer, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So what, what kind of people do we avoid at church? Like. I would like to understand because you know somebody would say you can't avoid somebody who that is in the same church with you or the case you know have you had a situation where there's somebody at church that you feel i need to avoid for this person for a certain reason and what are those reasons um at church it's kind of it's kind of challenging because yeah. when you get to church mm. you see everybody like a saint mm -hmm. of course everybody appears to be a saint yeah. So, like I said earlier on it's the relationship you have with that person mm. even there at church you just have to study who you, who you need to relate with, who you need to talk to, who you need to go out with. I'm not saying when you get to church, you should have a carcass. No. Mm. Just be free with everybody. By doing that, you're going to meet them, you're going to know them, and you will know this person is a liar. I have to avoid her. Mm. This person is a cheat. I have to avoid her. Mm. This person is just all about church on Sundays. After Sundays, the Bible, she it's drops it and, <laughs> and do something else. Like that, then course. you will know you have to avoid such person. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get your vibes, um, Tembi, about asking the church because yeah. everyone is allowed in the church, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So it's now me as an individual, is that what you're saying? Me as an individual now knowing my own focus, know my yeah. destiny, yeah. know what I want to do, and then pursue after it yeah. so that I'm not debated by the fact that we're church members. Yeah. It shouldn't be binding, right? Exactly. Exactly. But they're temperamental people, like people that have anger issues, mm -hmm. okay? And now you see this person is at church. Do you avoid such people or do you talk to them or do, what do you do with people like that? People who are just angry people. You know, when I talk to you and then you just snap, just maybe you just maybe say, I, I, you know, I don't really like this top of yours. Maybe if it was green, it was going to look better. Then it's like, oh, oh, so you think you dress better than me? You know, the people like that, that yeah. are naturally angry people. Amen. What do you do with people like that? Amen. People like that, you love them. Okay. Love them unconditionally. Do you mm -hmm. avoid them? Yes. yes. Do you no, avoid them? You know what? You know what? When when you love them, mm. Yeah. Mm, they will have the sense of belonging that, despite the kind of person she is, this person loves me. You loving them okay, doesn't no, mean you are creating the relationship with them. Okay, I understand now. Let's say with the very exact um, incidents that Tembi just talked about, mm. she snaps immediately mm. and she starts yelling. Mm. How do I show love? How do you show love? Yeah. You just smile and walk away. Oh, really? First commandment. You just, you just, you just smile <laughs> and walk away. love it's one love. another. Mm. That just is the smile, first just commandment. Just smile and walk away. Because mm. I wouldn't expect you to know like, oh, why are you doing that to me? And mm. you know, it's to get to something else. Yeah. Don't you smile just and walk smile. away. I feel mm. that you are rude. And maybe that's going to be me now following you. Why, why, why are you doing that? Why are you walking away from me? <laughs> <laughs> this is an angry process. You see. Okay. Okay. You see. Um. We are. We. The, the, the way you handle things is not the way I handle things. Exactly. My okay. point of view. I'll just walk away. Hmm. From my own point of view, I'll just walk away. So, mm. so th that's 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 another way of avoiding yeah. people like that. Yeah. So you yeah. just walk away from a so situation. You don't a scene, yeah, you of. don't. Yeah, yeah because once you start once you start arguing with the person, mm. then there's no difference between the two of you. Exactly. exactly. You know. So that's why it, certain individuals you you really have to avoid in order not to look like you have also died. You know, walked away from the path of God mm. because sometimes what may look wrong 
is wrong to people. Wrong. Exactly. You know, yeah. if you're drinking um, what water inside a bottle of alcohol, we're not gonna say you're drinking water. Mm -hmm. So if it looks mm -hmm. wrong, you walk away from it. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Okay. So what, what kind of people do you avoid? Huh. <laughs> Vision destroyers. A kind of person where I tell you my dreams or my aspirations. Shut me down. Yeah, and then you're like, how can it be? Ah, oh, you're dreaming too big. Think that's possible. Oh, somebody did it and you didn't do it well. I, I flee. Like she was saying the other time and I said the word flee. The Bible says flee every appearances of evil. Yes. I flee. Do you understand? Fine. I, I have a dream, I have a vision in my yeah. mind. Um, uh, it's not like I'm so sure of how it's going to be. And then I'm telling you, you're shutting me down. Mm -hmm. That gives me a signal that there's mm -hmm. something more. It's either jealousy or you're just speaking um, behind the devil to kill my own vision. Mm -hmm. So when I meet vision destroyers, when I meet people who are not looking ahead, who are not dreaming ahead. Who are not goal orientated. Who, thank you, that's yeah. just it. Who are not goal orientated, then I know that I'm in for but trouble. avoid those kind of exactly. people. Exactly. Because I like to relate with people who keep me on my toes. I don't like like a dasical people. Of course. That are not thinking of how to push. Stagnant person. Stagnant person. Yeah. You know, you're, you're just okay by the things that you're seeing there. Yeah. You're not thinking a way forward. You're not thinking out of the box. Mm. Then for me, uh, 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 I'm going to relate with you like she said. And you know, I have one very good way of doing that. I keep smart. In fact, you would tell mm -hmm. the whole world she's my best friend. But me, I know our boundaries. Exactly. What exactly. I, I want to add to what she was saying, where um, if you have a friend in the church or all that, or an angered person, I'm able to relate with you well. Mm. What I will do is next time I won't tell you about your dress. Exactly. Mm. So I'll greet with you nicely. How is everything? Do the things you love, you love. to see or hear, mm. but it won't go beyond that. Mm. And you know, like my mom taught me as a little girl, she said, if you know the likes and the dislikes of a person, you can yeah. relate with anybody. Wow. So if you have the angry friend, mm. and it's just like she was saying, uh, at your place of work, you must see every day, then there has to be a way to relate with the person. Mm. I know what to say, I know what not to do, I know what to work around with you. Yeah. Another people I flee away from is people who are very nonchalant attitude, especially when it comes to marriage. I flee. Uh, let's define that. Mm -hmm. Non-challenged attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, let's define that. Yeah, it's almost same as lackadaisical. You know, I don't care. Whatever so will be. When you're talking be. in marriage, what, mm. what, what does that mean? In, in which context now, is this? fine. Um, people who are not, they're not goal-oriented. Because if you're married, and no matter the number of years, you're going to be, except if you're hoping to die in the next five years after marriage. Okay. You're going to be there for years, 30, 40. How many years do you want to stay in marriage? I want to stay till Jesus comes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah that's, that's, that's the goal. Dead, that's the goal. Till death do us part, yeah. right? Yeah. Till death do us part. Mm. Now, I love to be with people who want to see it work, who want to make it, you know, more exciting, who encourage you to be on your toes. Mm. Not people that help you see the ills in your husband, that help you see the lack in your home, mm. and then now make you sit back and start thinking what you shouldn't be thinking. Fine, it's not like the thoughts will not come. But I don't want to be with somebody that will bring the thoughts outrightly to me. Mm. I flee. That's very interesting. I flee. Before we go on a commercial break, we'd like to know what Sis Olu would like to say to the viewers before she, she leaves our seat. Yeah. Is there something else that you want to tell our viewers the pe about people that they should avoid? Yeah, um, like people you need to avoid. Um, you know them around you. Um, you know their doings and you know their don'ts. Like um, she says something, you have to flee from them. I tell her, you have to flee. Don't be sentimental. Don't be sentimental. Don't, don't say, this is my very good friend. How do I do it? Don't say, because we, we grew up together, I must just keep quiet and follow her. It's really, really going to affect you. Please, I beg you, wherever you need to avoid people, please do. It's going to be for your own good. Thank you. You are begged to avoid people that will destroy your life. So we'll see you shortly after the break. Welcome back from the break. You're still tuned in to Holy Vibes, your favorite women's talk show. And before the break, we were discussing those to avoid. Who do you want to avoid in your life? Why should you avoid that person? Please talk to us on Facebook. We want to know your views. Are we going to be reading it? Okay, we'll be reading from our Open Heavens 2013. Let's see what our daddy has to say about 
those to avoid. It's January 28th. Everyone needs the support of someone else. Our Lord Jesus Christ was not an exemption. According to Acts chapter 10, verse 38, he depended on the Holy Spirit throughout his ministry. What of his disciples? After the resurrection, the Lord depended largely on his disciples to continue the work he had started. Earlier, people like Mary Magdalene ministered to him of their substance while he shared the good news of the kingdom. Luke chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. As a result of people who were re ready to support the Lord, Jesus never lacked money or what he needed in the ministry to the point that he had a treasurer. Hmm. Even today, when God sends his servants on an assignment, he would give him or her helpers who will sustain the ministry and help to achieve the task. In one way or another, the Lord has given you as a helper to the ministry of your pastor. How effective have you played this role? God is blessing you so that you can be a blessing to both your leader and the work. Never think, of, never think all his blessings are limited to you and yours alone. Considering supporting the ministry, there is an appropriate portion that should be released in order for you to receive the level of blessing God has in store for you. Ask God on how you should key into, into the commission and the grace to do so. You will not fail God in Jesus' name. A big amen. Having seen that you need one or more partners, how do you choose one? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 24 to 25. Let me read that verse 24. It says, make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Never chose an angry fellow as a friend, or else you will be forced to learn his ways and enter a trap. Mm. Apart from your spouse, if the one you call a friend is highly emotional or temperamental, he would have done you an irredeemable havoc before he comes into his senses. Avoid such people. Avoid those with violent temper. Avoid anyone of questionable character. Anyone who says you should turn after some other you should turn after some other gods or powers must be avoided. Never make friends with anyone who will lure you into immorality. No matter how close, such a fellow is a tool in the hands of the enemy to keep you perpetually in bondage. Don't make friends with thieves, miscreants, lazy or idle people. Check through your list of friends and any that does not fit must be dropped now. Mm. Check through your command. list yeah, check mm. through your list. You know, there's this thing we do in my family. Yeah. At the end of every year, we take a, we take, we take a, um, how do you say it now? We take a check on friends that we've had in the previous year. How much have they added like to us? Like a list kind like of thing. Like a list, exactly. Okay. Like what yeah. our dad is yeah. saying. How, how much have they added to us? How much have they taken away from us? Mm. And those ones that have cost us so much pain and taken away from us, we, we avoid them. When I say taking away from us, I'm not talking about maybe things you have to give or whatever. I'm talking Emotionally. about emotions. Mm. Thank you. Emotions. Taking you away from doing the things that should keep you better or make you, you know, you have a better version up. of yourself. Exactly. Of so it's something really, really important to check your list. Wow. And like our speaker was saying in the earlier um, talk, yeah. that um, you, you shouldn't be sentimental. Yeah. The fact that um, this person is this or this person is that, you. It, your destiny is what matters because you're going to face God. You're going to give account of how you lived your life. So it's really, really important. So like we just read, everyone needs somebody. Nobody is an of island. Course. I need you. You need me. Yeah. But even at that, we need to make a check and balance. Yeah. I need to check what you're adding, what you're taking away. Mm -hmm. If what you're taking away is too much, then there's a problem. But if the person has a lot is adding. If there's a little problem that can be avoided or that can be managed, yeah. I think it's still okay. But if it is so much 
that you're beginning to lure me into immorality. I'm beginning to learn to lie for no reason. You need to avoid you. You need to avoid. Mm -hmm. I, I remember I had a friend when we were in the university yeah. and she easily flares up like you were, you were talking about initially. Every little thing, you know, they, I get it. Baba also talks about it. That's about temperamental it. people temperamental are people that you people. should avoid. Because exactly. you, you, you take on that personality, you know. Unconsciously, you begin to see that you're acting course, like that. Of course, You know, so it's really a sensitive thing, you know. And they say, show me my, your friend and I'll tell you Show your you destiny, are. yeah. Oh, that's a serious one. It so is. imagine that person, I'm just relating with the person for just five minutes. And here comes an opportunity for a life turning around, um, you know, it change. I just live just like that for being in the wrong company. It's critical. Because uh, you know, you know, when they when they talk about anger, mm. anger is something that people don't look at. Mm. They don't think that it's a big deal or whatever. But until that, until you realize that this kind of a person is an angry person, mm. and you start developing everything that this person has, you know, you know, there are those friends that when you talk to them, they just snap at a go. Exactly. You you also become like that, not necessarily that you want to do that, mm -hmm. it's unconsciously so. Mm -hmm. You know, you also become that person, that angry person, because of the fact that this person is reacting this yeah. way towards you, you know, all the time. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people that we actually do need to avoid. There's a lot of people we actually need to avoid. And I was also one uh, Christian girls out there, you have friends who are not helping you tilt towards your academics. Uh, you you should be. Vision see. breakers. Yeah, the vision breakers. You know, you, you need to make your matric. You need to study well. You need to become something. In fact, as a matter of fact, if you're relating with people who are not looking beyond matric, it should be a problem. No, it is. Yeah, because it there is. are loads of opportunities, yeah. particularly in South Africa. So I don't know why you want to stop at just the matric level. Yeah. So if you have a friend who is not looking beyond just working as a pick and pay um, cashier. cashier, you know, just standing by the gates and um, doing their own thing. Because there's nothing wrong with the person starting from the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with the person being a cashier. We, no, we're no, not no, saying no. there's something wrong with being there's a cashier. We're just saying that you must look beyond being a cashier. Exactly. You must look beyond being just something small, yeah. you know, and immediately you associate yourself with people mm. that will want to elevate you, that mm -hmm. will want to see the best in you. Then you are also going to be pushing yourself exactly. to do better, to you do know. better, yeah. Of course. And we need to also talk to married, married folks out there. We, we hear of a lot of women who want their own freedom. I don't know why the freedom is coming. If in the first place you desire to marry. Mm. If you desire to marry, then stay married. Except yeah. if there are lots of, um, you know, have a coming with it. But I'm not going to talk about that. What matters is if you're not being influenced negatively by your friends out there or your neighbors. A neighbor comes to you and she's talking about how her husband gives her thousands and thousands of rands. And your husband is just there managing to give you tens of rands. And then you now think you should keep up with that and make an issue in your home. Then there's a problem. I think another problem with that topic, the mm. marriage and, you know, it's, it's you fre befriending people who are not married when you're actually married. Because, mm. you know, single people, yeah. they, don't, they don't live like married people. Exactly. I'd advise you better if I was married. Yeah. You know, I'd exactly. say, no, 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 because this, this, your husband is doing this. Okay. Do this and do, do this. that, exactly. you know. But if I'm single and you come and say, oh, my husband didn't sleep at home mm. last night, mm. I'm going to go like, no, just divorce him. Exactly. People or, literally say that. And then she has or she'll, or she'll tell you that, do the same. Mm -hmm. Come and sleep by my place. Yeah. But if a person has been married and a person is married, mm -hmm. then they have a better advice, you know. They, they not all, Tembe, if you agree with me critically. Of course. We still have of course. some married women who, who say some are, awkward things of course, to the young course. Women. But it's just better when the person is married, especially exactly. we're saying that people to avoid. Mm -hmm. Now you avoid certain people that are not born again. You understand? Mm, so if you are married one. and you are born again, I'm going to give you better advice than a person who's not born again and mm. is actually married. Mm. Although there are people who are not born again that have, you know, their lives figured out when it comes to marriage. Yeah. But then it's, it's usually better to associate yourself with people who have the same goals and dreams as you do, exactly. you know. So they'll advise you better. They'll tell you that, okay, now that you are facing this situation, let's do this, let's mm -hmm. do that, you know. Yeah. Because they want to see the best in you. Best it, in you know when you say that if a person does not want to see a certain vision, they don't want they don't they don't no, see us beyond, beyond this point yeah. then obviously you need to avoid that kind of a person exactly. so it comes back to that as well you know mm -hmm. if a person wants to see your your, your marriage flourish they're gonna they're gonna give you good exactly. advice you understand exactly exactly but i don't know i don't know why it's sometimes so difficult for women to stick with such because i remember vividly when i was talking to a friend about issues in marriage and I was like no don't do it like this why not do it like that she was like no 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 that see I'm being too holy about this whole thing and then I looked at her and I said see I'm gonna go back I'll fall into the arms of my husband I'll be happy you go home and you'll be sad yeah. so what advice would you 
rather I give to you. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes we, we don't want to hold the truth. We want people that will help us fantasize into what is not. Mm -hmm. But it's time as women, we begin to avoid such. We need to stay focused. We need to get our goals rolling. Yeah. We need to move on yeah. and, and not just move on, you know, be the best that you Elevate can be. Elevate each other. Exactly. Yeah. Iron, this, uh, iron sharpens iron. Of so course. you sharpen me, I sharpen you, yeah. you know, and then we're moving. There's progress. Even if we're apart for five years, you have good things to tell me. I have good things yeah, to tell this you. This is what happened. Oh, oh, yeah, really? You know? Yeah. yeah. yeah so it's something very important. There are people we must avoid. Avoid the, what has light got to do with darkness? Yeah. So how do you explain that? Yeah. You, you, you're a young girl out there and you have a boyfriend who is doing all sorts out there. He's on drrugs and he's not even thinking of how to come out of it. So why are you there? What are you doing you, you fall you into the it. trap. That's the problem. Exactly. You'll fall into the trap and you'll end up doing all the wrong things, not necessarily because you want to, but mm. it's easy to be lured into bad things than it is it to be lured into good things. Yes. That's the problem. Yeah. So immediately you don't avoid such people, uh -huh. you're going to fall into their trap. Yeah, yeah. And I want to give that illustration with somebody standing up here okay. and somebody standing down there. All right. Now, I'm standing up here and I want to pull the person down there uh, yeah. who's likely to fall. The person up there. Do you see? So yeah. you, there are people you really need That's to avoid because you think you're good and you want to help the person up, but you don't have all the energy. Sometimes you just like walk you away. Said, sometimes, yeah, you need to walk away. You're not the Holy Spirit. You can change everybody. Make your points clear. Let them know what you are up to. Let them know what you take, what you stand for, and then move on. Hmm. You know. And if they're not going to listen to you, it's it's not by force. Friendship is not by force. No. Your ship should be taking you forward, not taking you backward. Hmm. You know, it's just like when we say when you when you're falling, you should also fall forward, of not course, fall backward. Back. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. it's an important thing. Whether young, whether old, whether um, um, uh, small, we need to really know what we're doing. Rich, poor, we really need to avoid some certain kind of people if we must move ahead and if we must make the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah! Wow, mm -hmm. amen. If we must make heaven, we need to really be conscious of the kind of people around us. Hmm. We hope you're enjoying or you enjoyed today's topic because we certainly did. Mm. And if, if you did, please talk to us on Facebook. Let's hear your comments. Let's hear your views. Mm. Who are you avoiding? And what has that helped you do in life? Because there are certain people that we avoid and then they help us to progress because we have avoided them. So let's talk. Let's hear what you have to say. Talk to us on Facebook at Holy Vibes. And then please visit us on YouTube at RTM TV World. Mm. But from us, so we are signing out. We're saying peace out.